When working with AutoCAD accounting, you will realize most of transaction and document screen layouts are similar, and you get familiarized in no time. This is the common layout of transaction listing. We take invoice listing as example. Every listing screen has the same following functions: to create a new document or entry. To search or find documents or entries, to print document or entry listing reports, and the toolbar consists of、uh, buttons to edit, view, preview, print, or delete the highlighted document or entry in the grid. Talking about the grid, you may rearrange the grid layout, including grouping, sorting, filtering. Rename, adding, and removing the grid layout can be saved, assigned to other users, and exported to other file formats. Let's、uh, look at the common layout when creating or editing document entries. The common buttons are Add, Insert, Remove, Move up or down, Undo, Select or Update selected rows. Add group total, add discount row, F9 search, and show instant info. When click on show instant info, the latest information about price history, stock status, item aging, and replacement items of the highlighted item will be displayed instantly. The menu bar at the top of all document transaction screen provides few more options to ease the transaction process. You may copy and paste part or whole document details of one document type to another. You may copy from or to another document of the same type. You may transfer, update transaction details from related documents. You may process. Payment made on currently open document. You may calculate profit margin of current document. You may create a new document with data entry by past transaction records. Oh yes, there is a faster way to copy document contents to new blank document. Drag and paste. For any document, the detail columns can be locked, so that modification of the preset values is only allowed for users with access rights. And you may enable the color indication for transition price above maximum and below minimum price. During transaction, press F9 button on your keyboard. Will bring up this find stock item screen. Define the search criteria and then click on search. From the listed result, you may click to select multiple items to fill in document details. In discount column, you may key in discount value or percentage for each transaction item. Alternatively, you may add a row for group discount. Maintain discount as an item, or enter foot discount. When it comes to reports, by defining few the options, the respective results will be displayed. Redefine the few the options until you get what you really want, and proceed with a preview and print reports. While at a preview mode. Besides ordinary zooming and printing, you may choose to view multiple pages, set background color, set watermark, export content to other file type, email, and fax the report. To start AutoCAD accounting, we double click on the shortcut icon. From the log-on screen, we just、uh, select an account book and then key in the user ID admin, password also admin, and click on log-on. This is the main screen of AutoCAD accounting. We are now at the customer tab.
There are several icons, shortcut icons appear on the screen. Let's take a look on the invoice. So if we click on the graphic icon, it will lead us to the new invoice entry form. If we click on the invoice, it will lead us to the invoice listing. Let's click on invoice. This is the invoice listing. Take a look on the menu bar. That is a new menu called report. If you click on report design document style report, it will lead us to the uh, report designer tool. This is a button to create a new invoice. Clicking on this will lead us to a new invoice entry form. This is similar to when you click on invoice graphic icon here. Find invoice for us to search for invoices. For example, I can key in a keyword or I can define my search criteria and then click on search. So the related invoices will be listed and we can just select the number of invoices that we want and we can go to view, edit or delete. This button is to print invoice listing. Now, clicking on this it will lead us to the uh, selecting a listing report and uh, we can just go and uh, print and uh, view the uh, invoice listing. There are a few buttons here. These are the common buttons and the functions for all the document types when it comes to listing. And there is a checkbox to show the grid. This is the grid. If you do not want to see the grid when you come to this listing, just uncheck it. Then uh, when you come to this listing, it will look like this. To display the grid, we just click on the sentence again. These are the columns by default display. To remove a column, we just click on the column header and uh, move it downwards until you see a clause. Right? Click, move it downwards, click, move it downwards, and click, move it downwards. All right? I may adjust the width of the column or I can just right click to select best fit for all columns then the system will adjust the width of the columns automatically. To add in a column, we can right click on any of the column headers and select column chooser. This is the one, column chooser. There are lists of columns that we can choose. Let's say I'm going to add in one column called credit term. All right, credit term. I click on it, drag and put it on the header. Let's say I go and select that tab. All right, let's close it. Now to rearrange the columns, I can just click and move it to the left or to the right. Let's rearrange the width again. If you want to sort ascendingly or descendingly, you can actually click on the column header. So you will sort uh, accordingly. Click again, then you can see the arrow down. Similarly to other columns, every column, you can sort ascendingly or descendingly. The grouping of the listing layout can be customized also. For example, I may want to group the listing according to date. Then I can just click on the, the header of the date column and drag it to the empty bar here. Now you can see it is actually grouped according to date. Click on the plus sign. It will expand and show the details of document number, data code and so on. Right? Now to expand all, I just right click here and uh, choose full expand. Or to collapse all, full collapse. I can do multiple grouping. After the date, I may want to group uh, by agent. Alright, I just drag it here. So date and agent. So after the date, they are grouping by agent. To clear the grouping, just right click and select clear grouping. If you observe the column header again, on the right top corner, there is a filter button, a small tiny button. If you click on this filter, 
you can actually choose to filter by a certain value for example I may want to filter by only this customer so only invoices related to this uh, customer will be listed to undo click on this again and uh, select all all these functions are also available by right click on the column header and you can see that they are sorting to clear it, grouping and also you can save the layout so that next time we log in you will come to this layout and you can also assign the layout to other users you can also export the layout to other document format and also you can print the grid I can preview before I print the grid layout and the contents.